Yo, yo. Another song to ride to, man. Um, it's your boy. Probably ain't gonna ask y'all to like, share, and subscribe this. I'm kind of just venting, opening up out here. Just uh, keep y'all updated where I'm at. Got my daughters in the basketball now, so they're going hard with that, loving that day. Trying something new and loving it. I had this set up, man. It's probably going to be all messed up. <laughs> but anyways, yo. The kid. The kid here. Struggling. Struggling, 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 struggling. Struggling, struggling, struggling. Yeah, struggling tough. Uh, Where I'm at right now. Like I said, I'm still dealing with the... I call it fear and doubt, but it's mostly doubt because you're going to always have fear. Fear going to be there anytime you try and do something, something new. Uh, even if it is something you know. I mean, you know, you grow more confidence the more you practice, the more you got something. But you still got some fear that's still be in there before you get up and do it, you know. So fear going to always be there, but... The problem is, is the doubt. And doubt, basically, you know, lowest common denominator is low self-confidence, for real. Because if you had confidence in yourself, you wouldn't be doubting yourself, right? Exactly. So we're going to call it what it is. I know what it is. I always, I'm like my worst critic. I'm always looking at myself, whatever. So as of late, man, it's like... Things been coming up, and I ain't been, I've been kind of dodging stuff. I've been dodging stuff for a while, though, like, far as opportunities. I ain't, uh, it's like, I'm not, some stuff, I guess you might as well say I'm running away from it. However you put it, dog, I ain't picking them up. Um, not fooling with everybody, you know, uh, I guess I'm. I'm kind of comfortable with what I'm doing right now because, you know, I'm making a little bit of money from it. Not nothing compared to what I could be making. Even though it's not my passion. Um, So I just feel like every day I just, lately, I just been waking up past couple days where I ain't happy. I ain't happy with what I'm doing, where I'm at. Uh... It's just like I I got stuff on my plate I know that I could be doing. But I doubt. I just simply doubt. And it's like I'm not believing in myself. And I'm really struggling with that. And my soul ain't gonna let me be at ease. And I'm I'm glad it's not. Like I, I know that I'm over I'm gonna overcome this thing. Uh, I keep pressing, I'm a presser, but I'm tired of going through it. You know, I don't know. I guess I'm sharing this because maybe somebody else might be in the same same thing or some same boat. But yeah, it's uh my mental space right now. It's just it sucks real bad, real bad, and I ain't liking it at all. Um, I've been saying stuff to people, been reaching out to people. <clears throat> You know, I done made a couple videos up here talking about the fear and the doubt stuff. So, I'm just being honest, yo. Like, I guess I ain't gonna always have nuggets <laughs> in these things. I'm gonna just be just talking, you know. It ain't even about the views or trying to whatever, whatever. You know, um, I've been talking about the book, The Power of Now. That's been great. Um, I've been listening to Bob Proctor, check him out, because what he's talking about, it makes sense, and you know, I know it's all up here, I know it's all up here, because if I ain't picking up the fear, I pick up the faith, or if I, if I ain't picking up the doubt, I pick up the faith, you know, and I, I just need to, I need to figure out ways to build up the self-confidence that I need, believing in myself to make this thing happen. I was watching a video today 
that was just saying like instead of choosing instant gratification you choose the right thing to do you know which will in the long term help you out which will also build discipline and self-confidence for instance instant gratitude would be on your way home you got that fast food right there that you can go get or you can go get that meal prep that you made that healthy meal and so by you passing that up the fast food and going home to get that healthy meal which will help you in the long term and it also builds the self-confidence and discipline at the same time because if you do the instant gratification for one you're gonna be start beating yourself up like dang i done did it again i can't and also it's not healthy for you you know so different things like that so that kind of stood out to me today so i'm a um Start on that because one thing, yeah, I done fell off on my healthy eating. After I did my detox, my healthy eating just been all bad. So that could, and you know, that helps, that affects your thinking as well. So that could be something, you know, and yeah, man, it's, it's just uh, not tapping into my creativity like I should. I mean, I'm doing tattoos, but I ain't, I ain't just painting or just doing stuff that I want to do just on some creative stuff you know so I got some work to do but I definitely ain't gonna stay in this place definitely ain't gonna stay in this place I can't let it happen it's now or never it's now or never and I feel it that's why everything is just like right here and I'm battling with it you know thank you to my riders man that's, that's been supporting me you know, superheroes need love, too. You know, they, they need that support system. They need somebody to help them out. You notice, like, a lot of the superheroes don't be by themselves, man. It's all, they all got a partner, somebody moving with them. So, yeah, I need more of that. I need to get it, get around it. But I guess this is my long spill. It's just vibing out. If y'all watched it this far, I appreciate the love. I'm just sharing where I'm at, what I'm going through, where I'm going to, because y'all going to see it change. Y'all going to see it. You know, you got to see the downs with the ups, baby. You know, even though <laughs> I'm always being transparent about something, because most of the stuff I'm going through, I share it. You know, uh, I just feel like this is a real challenge. I haven't really been in this place of what I'm facing, but once I find the answers, I'm going to give it to y'all. Y'all know I am. I'm always sharing. I'm always, you know, I'll share the good and the bad. So if y'all watch eight minutes of this, I guess I'm doing something right. I guess you might be going through something, feeling it. But yeah, fear ain't bad. It's the doubt part. All right. So if you're dealing with fear and you keep moving, you got it. But if you're dealing with that doubt, you got to do something about that and you got to make it happen. You got to figure that out, whatever it takes, because your soul ain't going to let you rest in it. Or you could be, you can get comfortable and, you know, that your soul will get quieter and quieter. And next thing you know, you're just living in that. And I can't do it. I can't live with that regret, man. That's the worst death ever, regret. Regret is death while you're still alive. I can't have that. I'm done talking, man, but y'all be blessed. Y'all know I love y'all from the middle of. Hopefully, I get back to my gym dropping real soon and making stuff happen. Hitting y'all with some good news, man. So, that's all I got, and I'm out. Abundance.